In my last year on Wall Street, my bonus was $3.6 million, and I was angry because it wasn't big enough. I was 30 years old, had no children to raise, no debts to pay, no philanthropic goal in mind. I wanted more money for exactly the same reason an alcoholic needs another drink. I was addicted. At 22, when I walked onto that trading floor for the first time and saw the glowing flat screen TVs, it looked as if the traders were playing a video game inside a spaceship. If you won this video game, you became what I most wanted to be, rich. Money, power, addiction. For eight years, Sam Park lived the life of the Wolf of Wall Street. Money, power, addiction. Is it really the ultimate dream? It was during the crash of 2008. It was a very scary time. All of my attention had been focused above me, on the people that had more than me. And for the first time, it was as if I stood on the edge of a building and looked down and saw the entire rest of the world below me and realized that uh, I had been living an incredibly selfish life. In that moment, I just saw that um, I had a responsibility to other people, and it was basically a responsibility that I had ignored my whole life. I just decided to make the world a better place. Sam Polk abandoned the world of finance, left New York, and set up an association in Los Angeles to help the poor. The former trader starts a revolution by adding the world altruism to his definition of life. And he asks the question, is altruism an essential part of human nature? So, long life to the altruistic revolution. Viva la revolution de altruismo. Now get on the 